Dude, I don't know, man. Something's bothering me. And it's like it's freaking me out like to the point I'm having a panic attack over it. And I don't know why. It's, I mean, it, it's legitimately freaking me out. Um, I was just scrolling through YouTube and all of a sudden this Billy Graham uh, program popped up where he was preaching. And the first one that I saw was from 1971, which is like six years before I was even born. Which, it's, that's kind of weird. It's just, that's really weird. I don't know, there's something weird about that. You know? That there was like legit shit going on before I was even, you know, a, a glimmer in the sky. You know, a glimmer in the sky. You know what I mean? Like, like... I don't know, it's just something weird, but the second one that I saw, this was 1957 in Madison Square Garden, and I got thinking about his life, he lived a full life, and it's like, that generation is gone, there's like a whole generation of people that were gone. And I want to word this properly so it makes sense. But I, I got thinking about, okay, this is 2018. What if it was 1918? And, and Billy Graham was currently at Madison Square Garden, like right now, like say like right now, it was 1957, uh, I think it was, at Madison Square Garden. Let's say that that's happening right now. That means that I would be dead. And he would be the generation next, after us, after me. And he's lived an entire life. And a whole other generation, maybe even a third generation, is, is starting up. After I've already died. I, it's, that's freaking me out, dude. Now, I, I know it's like, oh, what if it was 100 years ago? Yeah, obviously. But, okay, so... 2018, what about 2118? You know? What about 2218? What about 4218? It's like, I don't know, I can't grasp that. And it's freaking me out. It's literally, like, disturbing me. Like, disturbing my, my zen moment here. It's like, fucking me up. Because, again, I have... And this goes into, like, all the, the, the Bible bullshit that, that I talk about, you know. And it goes into all that stuff where there's no guarantee, even if there is a rapture, pre-tribulation, post-tribulation, whatever. There's no guarantee that's in our lifetime. They, can, they keep saying, oh, it's going to happen in our lifetime. It's going to happen in our lifetime. Billy Graham would even say that. It's in our lifetime. It's going to happen probably in our lifetime. They've been saying it for 2,000 years. What's the difference between 1518 and 2018? Nothing. Nothing. I am not special. You are not special. We are not special. This generation is not special. We're not. And I don't know how to handle that. Especially going all those years where it's like, yeah, it's going to happen in our lifetime. Can't wait. We're going to see Jesus in our lifetime. Can't wait. There's no guarantee of that. There could be a thousand years between now, you know, the time I die. That's a lot of time. That's a lot of different shit that I'm not going to get to experience. And again, it's partly selfish, and I admit that. And it's also, a, I don't want to die, so there's self-preservation there. But it's just, it's freaking me out. It's like... <sighs> It's like I, I'm I'm understanding how vast time actually is. How and even if we're not talking like on a spiritual level time or the time stream or the physicality of, you know, physical matter in its overabundance of or it's over uh whatever of time it's need of it. Even if we take all that out, just the simple fact that there's a chronological order, 
you know, so one year, two years, three years, four years. I mean, seriously, you know how many Mario games are going to happen in ten years? You can get five or six, seven, eight, even. Mario games that I'm never going to get to see or play. I don't know how I feel about that. And I know that's selfish, and I know it's like, there's a greater universe out there, but it's like, no. Damn it, no, you know? And it's freaking me out, because it's like, you know, the Billy Graham of today, and no, it ain't Franklin, fuck him. Um, dude, if Franklin needs to go back and watch some of his daddy's stuff. His, that, that one, um, in fact, I'm going to link it in Facebook. That one from 1971, that was fucking great. Like, Who is Christ, or whatever it was called. That was freaking great. He goes into this thing about how Simon, the man who helped carry Jesus across, was black. He's like, let me tell you black people something. Don't you ever forget that the man who helped him was black. And he goes into this great monologue about how Jesus Christ is, Jesus is basically the Christ to Africa. Just as much as he is to European or any other white man. And then he goes on to say Jesus Christ was not a white man like me. And the way he said it was fucking amazing. And Franklin Graham needs a kick in the fucking nuts. And that's all I'm going to say on that. <sighs> Pisses me off. But it's like... You know, okay, it's, it's 2018 right now. So, let's say the next Frank... Or let's say the next Billy Graham, whatever that be. It doesn't necessarily have to be preacher, but that... some Somebody who had that type of life. That meaningful, done a lot, you know, Martin Luther King kind of life... Motherfucker's not even born yet. He's going to live an entire life and then d die. After I've already died. I just, I can't, I can't get my head around that. that an entire generation of wonder, you know? I mean, think about that. Just think about that. I mean, it... I mean, shit, we're 41, dude. Ain't neither one of us gonna live into our 70s. We're not. I mean, seriously, do you realize right now... Do you realize that... 2118, 100 years from now... Everyone on this planet is dead. You realize that everybody that's currently alive right now is dead. Now, I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news. That includes your children. That includes, shit, probably even your grandkids. They'll probably be questionable then, too. That's a hundred years, motherfucker. I mean, I don't know how I'm supposed to take that. 2118 is no different than 1918. Which is no different than 2018. Which is right now. It's like... I don't know, man. That's bothering me. And it's like, it's freaking me out. I don't know if I'm explaining it right or explaining why it's bothering me, but it's like, I'm just thinking about... Time ain't waiting for me, you know? God will redeem the time. He ain't doing shit. Everybody keeps saying, oh, God's got a perfect plan for your life. What, to sit here and rot the fuck away in my own filth in my bed? I can't physically do it. God's going to have to open up a door. Apparently he wants me right here. And every time I try something, whatever it be, whether it's, you know, YouTube or, or Twitch or something, something goes wrong. Something goes wrong. God does not want me to excel. See, that's one of the problems. You always kept going into this thing. Well, when you were 15, you should have done this. You should have done that and blah, 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 blah. The fact is... I, Believe me, dude, it's not that I didn't try. It's not. I honestly God did try numerous times. It's just a simple fact that God does not want me to have certain things. He does not want me to be certain places. It's a fact. And if God wants me to be right here, right where I am, fine. Fine, then I'll just what? Because I don't I don't think I'm supposed to be just another statistic. I'm 41 years old, 400 pounds. I am going to die sooner than later. And 
I mean, think about it. Think about the people who died in, in 1918. Nobody remembers them. Nobody remembers them. No one remembers anybody from 28, or, uh, 1918. 1818. 1718. 1618. 1518. You remember anybody from 1518? No. No. Part of his me it's part of Billy Graham's message was that he he was talking about the Jesus Christ superstar, and he was talking about how and this was uh, 1971, how that generation was talking about Jesus Christ. He's like the man only lived 33 years. He didn't travel more than 100 miles, give or take. From his home, and two thousand years later, people are still talking about him. He's still in the hearts and minds of people, which is, you gotta admit that is pretty impressive. Whether Jesus was God or whatever, but that is still pretty impressive. I mean, that is pretty. Impre you have to give him. You have to give it to him. <laughs> you have to give it to him. No other, no other person in history. I mean, really, no other person in history. I mean, yeah, you could say, well, what about, you know, Alexander the Great? Yeah, but are you, have you thought about Alexander and Alexander the Great in like ten years, <laughs> or ten minutes, or ten hours? No, I bet you thought about Jesus sometime within the last, you know, day. It's very odd. I mean, it really is when you think about it. Of course, people keep dumping it down our throat. That's neither here nor there. Um, I guess you can make that argument. I'm saying that as a Christian, too, so, you know, how do you think the atheists feel, but whatever. But still, it is pretty interesting when you think about that, but 2,000 years later, he's still in the hearts and minds of people. 2,000 years from now, ain't nobody going to remember me. I'm going to have a bunch of clips that nobody's going to watch because YouTube won't put them in the freaking algorithm. or won't let the algorithm uh, show them out to anybody's... Nobody's going to see them. And assuming Donald Trump doesn't take us to the fucking nuclear war and we all die and blow up and, you know, we lose the internet anyway. Assuming the internet's still a thing 2,000 years from now. Nobody's going to remember me. Nobody's going to give a fuck about me. And I just think about, like, all the people who've died. I was thinking of James Trafficant the other day. He's dead. Um, Billy Graham's dead. I mean, it's just think about all the people. Michael Jackson's dead. You know, he's an idiot, but he played good music, you know? I, I, I don't know, man. Jim Henson's dead. I mean, it's like, I think about all these fucking people who've died. George Carlin, Sam Kinison. Do you realize that no one, I, I mean, I can't say the entire planet, but no one is talking about George Burns. No one's thinking about George... Like, your kids don't even know who George Burns is. They don't know who Gracie is. And that, I find that a fucking tragedy. I really do. I really do. They might be a little too young for it, but... The idea that, like... You weren't thinking about George Burns. I wasn't thinking about him. But I was thinking... Of, well, technically I was. I was thinking about it the other day. I've been, actually I've been thinking about it off and on. Where it's like... People just don't talk about it anymore. It's just it's not it's not on the the forefront the the precipice of their mind. You know, it's not like there. And it isn't like a, a self preservation thing where it's like I want to be remembered. It's not that. It's just like I said, time does not wait for me. Time is not going to wait for us. Time is going to say fuck you and move on. You know, it's almost like when when Owen Hart died in WWE. Or WWF at the time. They had him come down on that, that that pulley, that rope. They were gonna he was gonna lower into the ring. Well, when he did, the thing gave way and he fell and basically died. And they basically had to you know cart him off and uh, go on with the show. I mean that's simple. You know. And. I don't know, it's just like, I don't know how I'm supposed to deal with that. And it's weird because, like, spring is coming up, Easter's coming up, and I'm I'm getting this weird vibe and this weird feeling. It's like, 
okay, spring is coming up. I want to do some stuff. I need to I need to work out more. I need to eat better. You know, I need to start doing stuff. I need to be outside more. I need to be doing stuff just in general. I need to be cleaning up more. It's just weird time for me right now. And it's like, I just, I don't know. I'm having this really, really weird moment in my life right now. I don't know if anybody, I don't know if you can relate to that. I mean, I'm assuming you can, but it's like, I don't know, man. It's like 10 years from now. Am I going to be here? It's 10 years. My mother's been dead 10 years. Am I going to be here in 10 years? 51 years old, 400 pounds. You think I'm going to be here in 10 years? Do you honestly think I'm going to fucking be here in 10 years? Not 20 or 30 or, oh, you know, 15, 20, he'll be dead. No, less than 10, dude. 51 years old. My mother died at 52. You think I'm going to be here... I sure, I sure as fuck am not going to make it to my 90s. I'm sure as fuck not going to make it into my 80s. Not my 70s. Not my 60s. Dude, if I'm here 62, 63, it'll be a miracle. And without some drastic change in my life, and I don't have the wherewithal to do it myself, so unless somebody comes in and, like, you know takes over, or takes me out of here and, like, put, puts me in a home somewhere and, like, regulates my, my intakes, I'm going to be dead within a, within a few years. And I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about that. I don't want to die, but I don't want to change either, so it's weird. It's like, but it's not that. It's not like a, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you know, I should have done a lot of things. I should have done a lot of things. But, you know, I'm here right now. What do I do? Maybe much you can do, you know? It's like you don't brush your teeth, you get a cavity. Well, oops, what do you do? Well, you should have brushed your teeth. I didn't. Now what? Now you got to get a fucking drill and hot poker shoved up in your mouth, you know? So it's like... I don't know, it just, it, it's a, it's a death thing that's bugging me, it's like, I don't want to fucking die, I just don't, I mean, I know everybody feels that way, but it's like, I mean, yeah, part of me can make a joke and be like, you know, like, like, I don't know, like, like, Fuck your kids because your kids are going to enjoy stuff. They're going to be enjoying, you know, have the ability to enjoy, like, uh, Mario or Zelda 20 years from now, and I won't be able to. So fuck them. Okay, I could say that jokingly, but... I mean, dude, they're going to go on after I'm gone. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about that. They're going to live entire lives... Hopefully until they're older, with grandkids of their own, maybe even great grandkids. I mean, do you understand it? You're gonna have, you're gonna have great, great, great grandkids at some point, potentially. I mean, do you understand it? You may not see them all, but you're gonna. I mean, think about that. Think about that. And it's just the idea that not not only am I going to be gone, but there's gonna be. Two, three, four, five, six, hundred thousand generations into the future, and it's gonna be like. I, it's like. You come to the point when you realize you're just one grain in the sand of life. It's like. You're literally, one, one grain of sand on the beach of life. I mean, that's basically what it is. You're not anything special. Like. Like Billy Graham was talking about, oh, God knows the number of hairs on your head and the sparrow falls from the from the sky and how much more does God love you? Yeah, but... So what? You know? So what? You know? I mean, at least you got a wife and kids and a car and a family and you can do stuff. I am stuck here. I have been doing the same thing for over ten years and that is sitting in this fucking bed. Do you understand that? I haven't been to the movies. I haven't been out to eat. I haven't been with friends. Except for, I think, the last two times you came over. Do you understand that? Do you get that? Yet, yeah, I'm supposed to believe that God cares about me, and he, he's, I'm right where he wants me to be. And you say, well, make, you know, do something about it. What am I supposed to do? What is there for me to do? 
I go down, I literally, I walk downstairs, my back is, I have to basically go back upstairs and lay down. That's how fucked up things are. That is legitimately how fucked up things are. Do you realize I didn't buy butter this month because I couldn't get to the back of the store both times I was there because my back was fucked up. I couldn't get to the other side of the store. Do you, do you, do you hear the words? I couldn't physically get to the other side. It's over in the other corner. And I couldn't get back there. Because I had to quickly get what I needed. Now, I was at the orange juice. I had to literally, all I had to do was go around the corner. But if I did, my cart was, was aimed one way. And I'd have to completely turn around and go the opposite. And it would actually be easier if I just went straight and then down the other way to where the, the seating is. And I couldn't do it. I did not buy any butter this month. The entire month of March, I did not buy any butter. None. Because I couldn't physically get there. That's how fucked up my life is. And I don't know how I'm supposed to deal with that. I really don't. I mean, you're basically... It, seriously, it'd be like telling a pig to get out of the mud and clean itself off. It's still a pig at the end of the day. You know, literally, you can put the lipstick on the pig. I'm the pig and you use lipstick on me. It don't matter. You know? It's like... How am I supposed to deal with that? And this isn't a poo-poo pity party thing either. This is like legitimate issue here. Like, my options... When I say my options are limited, that's not an understatement. That's a God's honest truth. You know? Believe me, I'm not here because I want to be. You know, I... So, okay, yeah, maybe I eat like shit. Well, you know why? You know why I eat like shit? Because nobody gives a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to die alone. So what the fuck difference does it make if I eat two donuts or I eat six? Who the fuck cares? Who cares? That's just going to put me in the early grave anyway. I'm already I'm already one foot in the fucker anyway. So what the fuck difference make? Again, what difference does it make if I eat one donut or I eat three? What difference does it make? None. None. Nobody cares. There's no significant other of any kind. There's no family to speak of. I mean, other than, you know, a couple occasional cousins and a derelict father. Other than that, nobody gives a fuck. I am literally going to die and shrivel away and nobody's going to remember me. At all. 90% of the views that I have on Facebook and 90% 90, or 90 of the views I have on YouTube are me. I watched my own shit. I literally sat today and watched my own shit for like two hours. Nobody else would watch it. I watched my own stuff. I did. I watched a bunch of the Orange Toupee stuff. Delty, Delty wrecking up the kitchen. Leaving me in that fucking swallow. Bullshit. You know? I did. I sat there and watched my own fucking videos. And again, nobody else is going to see them. Why the fuck not? I liked every one of them, too. I like my own shit every fucking time I do. Every time I can. Every time, every chance I can. Every different device I have, I try to try to like my own stuff. That's how fucking pathetic my life is. You know? I don't, I don't know, man. It's just... And again, this isn't a pity party. I wish it were. I wish it were a pity party because I can, I can then say, "Well, you're just being boohoo. Get over it." No, it ain't boohoo. It's it, it, what it is. It's like saying the sky is blue. The sky is bullshit. I don't want to live like this. And especially with spring coming up, it's like I, I, you know, I'm having delusions of grandeur. I want to do this. I want to do that. I don't have money. I can't do that. I can't do this. All I can do is sit in my own own filth and, and you know count the seconds. This is what the twenty seventh, twenty eighth, whatever it is. I ain't doing shit until WrestleMania, which is what April eighth. I mean, I, I, oh, actually, I'll go to the store on the third. That's it. Maybe I'll order out on the on the on the thirtieth or something. And then I'm gonna order out on. Uh, WrestleMania. So I might order out and go out, you know, go shopping. 
sometime between. That's it. That's that's my life. It's it's either sit here in the bed, lay here in the bed, or sit there in a chair, or let the dog out and sit on the porch. Now that it's getting a little warmer, I can go sit on the porch. But it smells like bird shit out there, so it's like I, I can't win. And I just I think about that shit. It's like eventually it's gonna be twenty one eighteen. It's gonna be a hundred years from now. And nobody's going to know who the fuck I am. I'm going to be nothing. I'm going to be one of the cosmos, just an, just another star in the sky, blinking away for all these ungrateful assholes to look up at and scoff. I don't know. It's just, it just it irritates me, dude. It really, really throws me for a fucking loop, and it pisses me off. It really generally fucking does. I mean, I don't want it to be that way. I want to be able to do stuff. I want to physically... I want to go and rake the fucking yard. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? I want to be able to physically rake the fucking yard. This isn't about when you're just lazy, you know. No. No, I want to be able to physically be able to rake the yard. I couldn't do it. I couldn't, I couldn't rake my own fucking hair. I couldn't sit there with a rake and jam it in my fucking head. Do you understand that? I don't know. It's just... it. I don't know, I, I can't, I, I literally started having panic, dude, I've been having panic attacks, like, I think about, like, when I think about how long my mother's been gone, and the fact that there's gonna be a point where it's ten years after, dude, Jean's been dead, what, two years, three years, whatever the fuck it's been, you realize that? There's gonna come a point where it's a year after I'm dead. 10 years after I'm fucking dead. 15 years after I'm dead. 20 years after I'm dead. You know, my grandfather. The one who used to live here. Died in 1990 fucking 3. Do you understand that? That's over 20 years ago. 25 years ago. Do you understand that? 25 fucking years. I haven't seen the guy. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that information. I haven't seen a fucking man for 25 fucking years. And it just pisses me off. Like, what kind of God does that shit? What kind of cruel fucker is that, you know? I mean, seriously, my entire family's fucking gone. Do you, do you get that? Do you fucking hear the words? They are fucking gone. Yeah, and under my condition, I was kind of relying on certain people. You know? Like, for example, you... Okay, so, like, if your mother dies, yeah, it's going to be tragic, but at least you're not, like, you know, stuck at home or something, or stuck, you know, gee, can you take me shopping once in a blue moon? Because, you know, you can't physically fucking drive, you know. Like, Dale T, if Dale T dies, who the fuck am I going to get to the store? Who the fuck am I going to get to the store? I have to have one of the cousins do it. I have to pay them. Which is fine, actually. I wouldn't mind paying them at all, to be honest with you. But it's like, then i got to burden them. I mean, at least Dale T's, you know, he, he's retired. You know? Like, he used to come up after work. And you gotta give him at least some credit. Not much, but you gotta give him at least a little bit. Like, he'd work eight hours and have to drive all the way up here. Yeah, we'd go around 4, 4.30. He'd get out of work at 3. He'd be up here about 4, 4.30. And then sit there for like an hour, two hours while I went to the store. You gotta give him fucking credit for that. You do. But shit, he he's, he's pushing seventy. He's pushing fucking seventy. He ain't gonna he ain't spring daisies. He ain't gonna be around much longer. He probably outlive me, bastard. I don't know, man. I just I don't know. There's something about it. It's just. I don't know. I just... I don't know. I really, really don't know. Like, like, what is there to do? What is there for me to change? I mean, yeah, I could change the way I think. But okay. I could maybe change... And again, you say, well, it'll change your eating habits. The problem is, I don't... I don't know how to do that. Because I don't feel that I'm doing much of anything wrong. Now, okay, for example. Um, like, alright, what did I eat today? It's 6 o'clock in the afternoon. What did I eat today? I had two pieces of chicken. Actually, actually, there were four pieces of thin chicken. 
I made a sandwich. I made uh, I made like garlic bread. So I had four pieces of garlic bread, like actual garlic, with a little bit of butter. And no, it wasn't a lot of butter. It was actually a little bit. And about four slices of thin ass chicken. And I put a little uh, hot sauce on, a little uh, buffalo sauce on. And then I had one of those boxes of uh, scalloped potatoes that I didn't add milk to. I only had water and some butter. And I gave the dog a little bit, although not a lot. So I basically ate a box of that and four pieces, basically two chicken sandwiches. That's what I had today. That's it. That's it. I don't think I have over eight. No, granted, I ate a box of that stuff. It's probably high in carbs and shit, but I don't feel that I ate a lot. I don't. In fact, I'm probably going to have something later, too. So it's like, I don't feel like I'm eating a lot. So as far as like, oh, change your, change your eating habit. I mean, other than... I mean, shit, you can't buy vegetables over here. I mean, honestly, God, you realize I could buy... I could buy at the dollar store four... No, fuck it, I could buy five. I could buy five bags of dollar cookies. And you get, let's see, I think ten in each, each one for like a dollar. Yeah, you get two rows of five in each one for a dollar. So you get like ten cookies for a dollar. Um, that's like 10 cents each, um, or whatever, or I could get two green peppers, big green peppers, five fucking dollars, I get two green peppers, or, what I say, well shit, it'd be five, ten, I get like 50 cookies, or two green peppers, now I think about that, obviously I'm going with the cookies, so, give me a break. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Fucking bullshit. Uh, what, what, what is it? Go, you know, eat less and go exercise. That, that's, that's their motto. Eat, eat, eat less and go exercise. What the fuck am I supposed to do? What the fuck am I honestly supposed to do? I can't fucking walk. I got a treadmill. I can't walk that fucker. I'm going to try it again. I really am. The spring coming, I'm going to try it again. But I can't walk that fucker because the goddamn leg goes out. The fucking hip is all fucked up. And then it goes right... You can understand, there's something wrong in my back. And when it goes out, it literally... I can rub it. I can literally rub it from one side to the other. And down into my hip, down into my leg. And then I start having fucking cramps and my... I start having like Charlie horses up the ass. It's fucking tragic. It's legitimately goddamn tragic. So it's like, what does God want me to do? Does God want me to work out? No. I mean, apparently God wants me to eat myself into oblivion so I can die and go see Him. I guess that's, that's uh, you know, the only thing God wants me to do. He wants me to be nothing but a statistic, die in my 40s, and go be with Him, I guess. That's what God wants. I don't know. I don't know. Again, this is not a party party. I wish to Christ it were. It's just... I don't know. I don't know. But there's not much to do. There's not much I can do. You know, I want to make life changes. I, I've actually been trying to make life changes. Shit, I've been doing videos about that shit. You've you seen me cleaning the shit up. You've seen me, you know, you even said it's borderline hoarder. And I admit this. I admit, a lot of it's just junk, and I just, well, half the time I don't have trash bags. Because I'm too cheap to buy them. So I got all that shit just piling up, and there's nowhere to put it. That's all it really is. I know that sounds bad, but. But shit, I mean, it's like dog pees on the floor. You know, there's only so much, I, there's only so many times I can do it. Is it except everybody's like, well, let him out more. Dude, I let him out more times than he, I want to admit. He doesn't know any better. He's been doing it for his entire life. He doesn't know any better. In fact, he's actually been doing pretty good. He did poop a little bit uh, last week and up in, a, in this week. But, like, all of uh, February? 90% of February and about 80% of March so far. He's actually pooped outdoors. He's peed a little bit inside, but he's pooped outdoors, and I'm very proud of him. He did poop a little bit last week, a couple days ago. Um... But, to be fair, it was very cold that one day. And, you know. And the last time he did it was simply because my fucking back was out and I just didn't let him out. 
I was like, you know what? Poop on the floor. I don't give a fuck. Because I'm not going to go out there and sit in the fucking freezing cold and shit. And it's just... You know, it is what it is. So, I mean, that's what a lot of it is. In fact, the last two times he's actually pooped in the house, it's because I had to get up and use the bathroom. And I just didn't have time to let him out. And, of course, while I'm in there, 10, 15 minutes, you know, all of a sudden I come out and he's pooped on the floor. So, that's not his fault. That's not that's on me. So, you know, so, hey, I'll give him credit. You gotta give him credit. He has, he, I mean, he's pooped. He's definitely pooped, but uh, not like he was before. And I'm proud of him, damn it. I don't have a lot to be proud of, but I'm proud of him on that. I don't know, man. It's like, I don't want to be alone, but I want to be completely alone. It's weird. It's a weird feeling. It's like, I want to be alone, but not too alone, if that makes sense. Like, I couldn't live without a dog. I tell you right now, like, being, like, alone, no. Like, as far as having people, no. But I I don't, you know, I wouldn't mind having people stop by once in a while with a pizza, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't mind having, you know, I don't know, just stupid shit once on a blue moon. I don't know, whatever. Because, like, I don't get lonely. It's weird. I don't, I'm not a lonely person. It's just sometimes I want to do stuff, you know? I can't do it on my own. Even if I could, you know, even if I could drive, like, physically. I mean, Jesus, even if I could turn my fucking head and turn my neck where I could look out the window and, like, you know, look out, look out the mirrors and shit. Even if I could physically do that. Forget the leg and the whole spasms in the leg. Dude, I've been having spasms in my leg. I've been having these weird pelvic spasms. It's weird. Like, I'll be sitting in the chair, the dog will come up. He ain't doing anything, he just kind of gets up me. Like, like, he'll lay between my legs. He's, he lays on the chair. And when he presses against me, it's like, all of a sudden, I go into this, this, I don't even know what to describe it. It's like this seizure, almost. Like, I guess the best way to describe it is, like, if you yawn, and, like, you just kind of, like, lose control, and you're like, you know, kind of like that, and it's like, you, you just your arms are kind of, like, shaking. It's one of those things, but it's like in my pelvic region, and my my hips and shit, and my lower back, and my, and then when I stand up, my legs do the same fucking thing. Like it is so bad. I swear to God, I thought I almost broke my ankle the one day. My right foot turned in so far, I literally thought I broke it. Like it looked like one of those little retarded kids in a wheelchair, and I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just you know you picture a little retarded kid in a wheelchair with his foot like bent in. Or he didn't grow right. That's what it was. I was literally, I, I honestly got, and then a couple of times I did, I actually did that and it locked out of place. Like the bones and shit just went, and just locked out of place. I had to actually take it and pry it back into place. It's not a cool, that's not a cool feeling because it's like, you, you, you fucked yourself up. I mean, you literally have like bent yourself into a, a predicament, literally. I mean, it's to the point where I actually, I ruined the one chair. Because the force that I put on, because my legs want to, like, push down. And I, especially with the electric chair. So I've got this, like, force and I'm pushing down, like, as hard as I can. Uncontrollable. To the point where it's like, I have to think about lifting up. So it's like, I have to lift up while while the spasms are pushing down. It's I, Because if I don't, I will literally break the chair. I mean, that's how strong this shit is. Like, it, 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 it overpowers my physical legs and makes me do shit, like break chairs and shit. That's how fucked up it is. It's not like something I'm making up. I wish it were. It's, it's like a muscle spasm or some fucking thing. I don't even know what you call that shit. I don't even know what it's called, but it's it's fucked up and it pisses me off. <sighs> I mean, I really, I've ruined that freaking chair. Like, the whole thing is bent. I have actually bent the fucking chair. And, and it's just, when, then when I get up, it's like, my, my legs just start, like, <sighs> I don't know, man. So how am I supposed to do basic fucking shit? Speaking of shit, I can barely take one. I mean, that's how bad my life is. How am I supposed to do that? And then you compass all this with, I'm going to die soon. And I don't like that. 
I don't want to fucking die. I want quality of life that's just moderate. I don't have moderate quality of life. I don't. Between the physical fucking pain, between just the bullshit, and, you know, I, I don't know, man. Maybe I shouldn't be alone. Maybe I should be put in a fucking home somewhere. Some adult home or some fucking thing. Where they come in and walk my dog once or twice a day. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever, man. But it's freaking me out, man. I've been having, like, seriously, when I think about my mother and shit, sometimes I have a panic attack. I've actually been, dude, I had a panic attack. This was probably maybe a year ago. Um, it had just starting, it just started to get dark. So it was probably maybe six o'clock. It was in the fall. Maybe, maybe closer to 530. But it had just started to get dark. And I, I, I got thinking about that I wouldn't see light for at least another 12 hours. And I started to, like, hyperventilate. <gasps> like, I couldn't breathe and shit. And I'm like, what am I upset about? Like, what, what, why, why am I getting triggered by that? But it was just a thought. I, I'm not going to see daylight for twelve, at least 12 hours. It's not 13 or 14, because, again, it was pushing winter time. You know? Maybe close, maybe closer to seven, seven thirty, eight o'clock before I actually see daylight. And I don't know. It was just weird. So again, I've been having these panic attacks, and I they're bothersome, man. Because it's like they come out of nowhere. It's like and it's weird shit. It's like your own mortality kind of thing. And I don't know. Uh, Cause like looking at it now, it pisses me off. But while you're going through it, it's not cool. It's like you, you joke about seizures and shit, but actually watching somebody go through one, it's not cool. It's not. <sighs> and it's the same thing. It's like I don't know. But anyway, that's what I've been thinking about. Just been thinking about shit like that, you know. Like, what is my legacy? What What am I going to be? What What am I? What the fuck am I? Oh, I might, you know, gee, I might be famous once I'm dead. You know, famous artist once I'm dead. Who gives a fuck? I should, dude, I should have a, I should be having a following like nobody's freaking business. I should. I should absolutely have a following. I mean, the fact that I'm one of the few people on Facebook. I keep saying Facebook. I'm one of the few people on YouTube who say fuck. You know? There should be a market for that. Nobody says fuck anymore because they're too pussy whipped because they're too worried about their freaking money. I ain't worried about their damn money. I'll tell you right now. If I ever got a thousand subs. Right, right now I'm making over four thousand minutes viewed each month. So all I need is another nine hundred and what, 55 more subs if I got that and could actually start making money I tell YouTube to go fuck themselves they didn't want me before they ain't gonna get me now fuck them I don't want their money fuck them I don't need their money fuck their money fuck their blood money assholes I would well it depends how much I started getting <laughs> you know I mean a couple bucks I'd be like yeah fuck you I don't need your fucking couple dollars you know, you pay me a couple thousand, okay, you know, and we'll talk, but I don't need that shit. I don't need that. Freaking bullshit. Oh, so I, should be, I should be live streaming this shit. I should. I, I should be live streaming these types of conversations. Not like face cam, but I should be on the microphone. You know, I should be, I should be playing something. I don't know. <sighs> it's depressing. It's exactly what it is. <sighs> you know, because it's like... What am I supposed to do? What am I honestly supposed to do? And I'll be honest with you. Every time I try something, and I've said this... Every time I try something, the universe is like, Nope, fuck you. You are not going to do it. I wanted to try YouTube. You know? 
always a fucking problem. Always a problem. The computer, not very good. You know, this, that, or the other. It's always a problem. The battery, the memory, something. Always a fucking problem. And it's like legitimately problems. It's, this isn't like, you know, oh, well, gee, the battery of my camera died. I got to go get another one. No. No. Or, gee, I didn't charge the fucking thing, so there's no battery. It's not, it's not stupid shit like that. This is st other stupid shit. This is like the universe putting roadblocks in front of me every twist and turn. Saying, no, you are not going to do this. You are not. I refuse to let you do it. That's what happens. So again, you used to go on this bullshit rampages about, oh, you should have done this when you were 15, and you should have done this, and do, 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 do. Again, you don't honestly think I didn't try? I mean, honestly, when I was working at Walmart, you honestly don't think I didn't try? They wanted us to be there at a certain time, for a certain amount of time. I was the only one who showed up every single fucking day. Do you understand that? And guess who's the one guy they, they cut? The guy who was there every single fucking day. On time. The two guys who didn't show up the second day, third day, guess what? They got hired. Because they didn't want to work. They simply didn't want to work. They got hired. Yet, I was there. No. So it's like the entire universe is like, fuck you. I don't want you doing that. I want you right where the fuck I want you. And I can't, I can't get out of it. I, it's like, it, it's, I don't know. And this isn't bullshit talking, this isn't me just bullshitting, this is me being legitimately serious. Every time I try to do something, every time I try to buy something to better myself, or to do something, it's just always a damn problem. Nothing does what it's supposed to do. <sighs> I don't know. I, I just, I don't know anymore. I really generally don't fucking know. So, Billy Graham's dead. There'll be entire generations after him. They'll die. We'll all fucking die. We're all going to be nothing. Your kids are going to be nothing. I'm sorry, but your kids are going to be nothing. They're just going to be worm food at some point, like every one of us. You do realize that. Your grandkids, nothing but worm food. That's what we are. We're fucking worm food. And God's like, oh, I love you, and I don't have a hair on your head. But you want the worms to eat my fucking dead corpse. Thanks, God. Thanks, God. I think we got. I think we got to discuss. You know, the definition of love here. Okay. Oh, but he he loved us so much. He gave his only begotten son. Yeah, to cover the bullshit agenda that he had. Again, I don't mean to be that way, but it's true. Let's just call it what it is. I mean, I think about the countless fucking people who were nothing but worm food. Think about it. Just from Jesus in 2,000 years. 2,000 years worth of people are fucking worm food. You get that. It isn't even talking past before him. I don't want to be worm food, dude. I want to be something important. in For God, not just like, you know, my own personal gain. You know? And I'm not. I'm not. I should be the next Billy Graham, and I'm not. I say fuck too much. I'm like Sam Kennison meets Billy Graham. Not that I can compare myself to Kennison, because I'm no, nothing like Kennison, but... I look like Kennison, in a way. Fat, long hair, you know. <laughs> Whatever. All I gotta do is learn how to sing Mississippi Queen, and I'm, I'm golden, I guess, you know. And I can't scream like him. I can't do the scream because like he has a scream that was just like iconic, like like funny. Me is like I can't do it unless it's like you know some sort of fake scream, but it just I can't do it. I can't do that. And it's like I don't know how to I don't know what to do with that either. But 
But seriously, I'm like... I'm like the bastard Billy Graham when it comes to uh, my clips and shit. Like, I was listening to that, that uh, 1971 clip. He's saying the same shit. He literally said the same shit before I was born that I was saying in the clip that I just posted not that long ago. A couple hours ago. And I hadn't seen that clip ever. Yeah, he's saying word for word exactly what I'm saying, except I'm saying fuck every 15 seconds. And being a little bit hostile. And putting it in today's standards with, like, today's presidential bullshit. That was really the only difference. I am the next Billy Graham. I am. I don't know, maybe I should go on there. Maybe I should, uh... I don't know, maybe I, maybe I should set up my camera, my fucking PS4 camera again. And maybe I should just start preaching gospel while I'm doing it. But in in, in my way of, like, saying the F word every 15 seconds. I should be, like, the the uh, the gaming preacher. Maybe I don't know, that's what God wants. Maybe God wants me right here to be the gaming preacher. And propagate the gospel. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, if, I don't know if I could deal with that. I don't know if I could put up with that. Because that just would irritate me, though. That would irritate me. Once or twice to be fine, but... I don't know. <sighs> uh, maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. I was almost tempted to make clips, not necessarily like this particular one, but like the ones earlier, the one I did earlier, and then just sit there with the, the laptop and just play it and set up the headphones and just put the headphones right next to the, the laptop because they have to be next to me because I don't want to have to get up. So I don't have anywhere to put the laptop anywhere, but... I could just play the fucking thing. Just play a clip into the head foot, headset while I play. So, ah, maybe that could work. I don't know. I really don't know. But, whatever. Maybe I should be the gaming preacher. Maybe that's why I should change my YouTube channel name to be the gaming preacher. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Cause it, it irritates me. The concept just irritates me. I'm not going to lie. The whole concept just pisses me off. But it would be unique. I'm not going to lie. It would be... Uh, uh, it would be unique, dude. I guarantee you, I don't think there's anything like that. I don't think you, you see a lot of stuff like that on Twitch. I don't think you see a lot of... Because, like I was talking about in that other clip, you know, a lot of Christians are, are stiff, uptight assholes. How many how many people like Pastor Warren do you think would would go on Xbox Live, play Call of Duty and, and witness to people and say, hey, fuck you, asshole. You need Jesus. I mean, how many people would do that? There's a market there. I just don't know if I have it in me. See, if I had somebody to banter stuff off of, I think it would be better. Like, if you and I were playing Halo again, I think that would be better. Like, you and I could have had a really good channel back in the day. We had some decent conversations, you bastard, you prick, until you forsook me. You know? Well, hey, whatever. Whatever. <sighs> I don't know. It's like, I don't know. What I mean, again, what is there for me to do? What the hell is there literally for me to do? I tried doing YouTube for over a month. Nothing. I literally got nothing out of it. Well, again, they don't show my shit anywhere because I say fuck, and they don't, they they don't, the algorithm rejects it, so nobody sees it. So, I literally went from forty-four subs to forty-five. I gained one sub in over a month of like posting every day. It's like, well, it's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. Again, if nobody's gonna see it, what's the fucking point? I only post for fun. But the problem is, if I don't post regularly, then the little bit of everything that I tried to do, down the toilet. So, I don't know, man. I mean, the idea that my channel that I don't even, I haven't used in over six years, has got like, you know, 10k, one's got 28k views, another's got, uh, like, 10k, 15k, 700 views, 800 views. I haven't even been on that fucker for like six years. The last video I uploaded was six years ago. Now, granted, it's 10 years, but still. 10K in 10 years, that ain't bad. 
And you know nobody's seeing it lately. Yeah, the shit that I'm doing regularly, you know, ain't nobody seeing it. Nobody's seeing it. So what the hell am I supposed to do, you know? No, I should be doing Twitch, but... I don't know, man. Like, I'm telling you right now, you and your wife could do some serious shit on there. You need to watch it, that clip that I made. You need to watch that shit and listen to that shit. Because you... I'm telling you right now... Your wife could make you millions of fucking dollars. I'm telling you. You could have... Six or seven million subs. Just your wife doing stupid shit on Twitch. Like, just mommy shit, you know? And homeschool shit. She does that stuff on the vlogs. People people seem to eat it up. You know? Get your friends involved. Have them pass it on. Put it on Twitter. And wherever else you can. Go to Reddit, do that kind of stuff. I guarantee you, motherfuckers could be rolling in fucking money. I'm talking decent money too. You could be making money off that shit, because that's a that is a niche that you know. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of single depressed moms out there doing that shit, but you know, it is what it is. You know, you, you, you your wife's relatively attractive, and I say relatively again, again in the sense that. You know, she's obviously not going to be push-up bra with her tits hanging out like most of these women. You know? So, from Twitch standards, she's relatively attractive. You know, facially. As in, you know, it'll work. It'll it'll work. You know? Like, some of these women, they, they literally got their, their tits hanging out, and it's like, they're doing jumping jacks and stuff, and they got 100,000 views. And people are donating left and right, because their tits are bouncing. So... But, you know, she can get away with her, you know, she can get away with just the content. So, I'm telling you guys, you guys got something good there, and you really need to exploit that shit. And not only that, I mean, shit, you should be reading books to your kids and stuff, because, I'm, look, I'm sure there's single moms out there who don't have dads to read, you know, Harry Potter to their kids, you do that shit, you record that shit, I guarantee you, you will have viewers. I don't have viewers because I, I can't, dude, I'm bitter. I can't stop saying fuck. People, I am toxic. I am a very toxic person. Yet, you have moments where you're not. I can't deal with that. I, 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 like, I couldn't read Harry Potter without interjecting the word fuck in there. I just couldn't. Well, that might be kind of funny in of itself. Um... But, no, I couldn't do it. But, yeah, you sit there and do it. Just record this shit, dude. Just put a fucking camera next to the thing. Record yourself sitting there reading. You don't even have to show your kids. Just, you know, or maybe maybe show, like, show them at ground level where you see, like, you know, their chest down or they're just sitting on the floor. You know, you don't have to show their faces or anything. But just, just show yourself sitting there. Read the fucking book. Or read each chapter. Do something. You could do... Dude, you could get views doing that shit. You could totally get views doing that shit. And there's... And you'd be doing good because there's a lot of single moms out there, like I said, who don't have dads who would read to them. Read to their kids. So you, you know, you're like the surrogate father for these kids. You'd be doing a good thing. Not only that, but you'd be, you know, making money. You could make money off that shit. I guarantee you, they would donate a dollar, two, three, four, five... They donate money to you. They would. 